Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Birmingham City in today's episode we are going to face Wigan and Portsmouth at the back end of the first half of the season basically we're in October it is Qatar 2022 so this will be the final games before we go on to the January transfer window let's get into it so following on from our disappointing opening day defeat against Bristol City we bounced back and beat Blackburn Rovers 3-1 at home they went ahead through a goal through Sabiri in the 45th minute but Fran Villalba, Nathan Holland and Alexander Janković, a lot of which, well Nathan Holland and Janković were both substitutes coming on late on, got us the 3-1 win. Two goals in the final 10 minutes, we will take that all dear. We then had a home tie against Fulham, they were sitting in second position when we played them today and we managed to get to set ourselves a 0-0 draw, they were probably the better side on the night creating a number of opportunities which we didn't but we ended up getting away with a point. Next up was a massive win 2-1 away from home against Derby County. Adam Armstrong and Jeremy Bella had put us 2-0 up. Tom Lawrence scored one in two minutes later after Bella's goal but thankfully we were able to hold on in what was a pretty even game going by the match stats but I think we created enough to deserve the three points. And then we got absolutely smashed. I think Stoke City were actually sitting in second position this time when we played them. They went in front through a penalty from a Rovaglia, which was put away in the 21st minute. And then Bella got himself sent off in the 30th minute, which meant our game was pretty much over at that point. They got three more goals throughout the match and ran out deserved victors. But we bounced back though at home against my beloved Sunderland. 4-1, uh, Liam Miller with two, Callum Robinson with one, Ryan Burke with the other, Max Power getting an 11th minute goal for Sunderland. And that sees the championship table looking like this. We currently sit in 17th position. We have now pulled ourselves eight points away from the relegation zone. EFC Wimbledon sitting in 22nd currently. And in terms of playoffs and stuff, we are 10 points off. We're a long way away and we're about halfway through this season. So you never know if we have a magnificent second half of the season we might be able to claw some of that back, but our focus is on mid-table positions. And 17th is in and around that. I would imagine it's probably 15th and above will be classed as mid-table. So that's the place we're aiming for. We're three points behind that currently. We'll see how we'll get on today and if we can close that gap. But in terms of today's opposition, it is Wigan and Portsmouth. Wigan are the first opponents. They only sit uh, behind us on goal difference in 18th position. But Portsmouth are doing very well. They are challenging for the playoffs, currently sitting in seventh. So that takes us to today's first game, which is Wigan away from home. And this will be the lineup today. Rear Boyd in goal, Keith Lodsdale, Harley Dean, Bajrami and Burke in defence. Stunic, Bellingham, Adam, Adam Armstrong, Villalba, Callum uh, Robinson and Liam Miller leading the line. Two, probably two attacking sides really. So it should be a pretty open game. They've got the likes of... Begovic and goal, uh, Vidra playing in behind. They've got some decent players, Wigan. Um, but we should have the quality to be able to match them, even away from home. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get the kickoff. First highlight of the game comes about 13 minutes in. It's Wigan who are currently in possession with Lang on this left-hand side. He's played it inside to Evans, who switches the play to Alvaro on the right-hand side. He whips the ball in back post. Lang is there. And that's an easy <clears throat> first goal for Wigan to put themselves 1-0 up 40 minutes in. Callum Lang's fourth, uh, third goal of the season. Disappointing way to start this game. Obviously with Wigan being so close to us in the league table, you would expect we're, we're able to be competitive with Wigan. Um, but not a great start. 30 minutes in now, we have our second highlight. Hopefully it's going to be an attack for ourselves as Adam Armstrong picks it up, beats his man. He's got options there. He goes for goal himself. Begovic parries. He's able to claim the second ball though before Miller gets to it. Going by the match stats, we are actually competing pretty well. Lonsdale picking up an injury at right back. Thankfully, we've got Espinosa, who is a more than capable uh, back up to him. So, first off, although we're 1-0 down, we're not performing particularly poorly. Uh, we'll see if we're able to level things up before half-time with Harley Dean switching the plate to Robinson on this left-hand side. He's in the box. Miller's there, and that is a guilt-edged opportunity there. He should probably be hitting the target. Valalbo with a free kick, though. He plays it in. Back post, it's there. Oh, he's offside. Jude Bellingham gets his head after the uh, header back into the box. But unfortunately for us, it is not to be counted. 45 minutes in now, just before half time, we do find ourselves with another highlight. Adam Armstrong picks up the ball on this right hand side. He drives into the box. And that is an awful, awful shot. 
And he should probably do better with that. Fran Villalba picking up an injury there just before half time. We will look to get him off straight away. No point in uh, risking him. We'll bring on Nathan Holland in that role, see how he gets on. With only 20 or so minutes to go, we are going to have to look to make some changes. Callum Robinson can come off. Ah, no, he can't. We're going to keep him on. We're not actually going to make any changes. I've changed my mind. Highlight now 20 minutes to go in the match. We are on the attack with Holland. He plays it back to Bajrami. Plays back to Harley Dean. Oof. I mean, we've got plenty of men forward. We are highly pushed up the pitch. Espinosa finds Adam Armstrong in the box. of falls to Robinson. And he managed to find himself the equaliser. Begovic parrying Adam Armstrong's initial shot. And it falls kindly to the feet of Callum Robinson. We will take that all day with only 90 minutes to go. Um, we have made some changes to our team instructions. We've lowered the tempo. Uh, went down to a positive team mentality. Try and retain possession a little bit more. And thankfully, it has paid off beautifully. If we can get one more goal in this game, I will be absolutely delighted. Bajrami finds Ryan Burke bombing down the left-hand side. Plays it back to Robinson. He's got plenty of men in the box. It looks like he's going to go for it himself. And I really, 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 really wish he didn't. Corner. Holland to play it in. It's played in. Miller's there. And Miller has missed two really, really good opportunities for us playing in the striker role. Um, Bella is obviously suspended, which is why Adam Armstrong is playing on the right-hand side rather than up top. Um, unfortunately, Liam, Mayer, Liam Miller hasn't justified that decision today. Adam Armstrong keeping the ball in. his play back room. Callum Robinson's there. And again, that was a clear-cut opportunity. Highlight. Holland plays in the corner. It's finding Miller again. That's his third chance. Um, we've had plenty of opportunities in the second half to be able to take the lead. Unfortunately, it isn't going to be today, so we will only take a point away from Wigan Athletic. Wigan 1, Birmingham 1, we move on to the Portsmouth game. So here we are at the Portsmouth game. Obviously, Portsmouth are pretty high flying at the minute, challenging for the playoff positions, uh, whilst we are definitely not. And we've sort of got a little bit of an injury crisis slash suspension crisis. Jimenez has to come in in behind to play Miller once again, who's playing on up front, even though I would really rather drop him. But we just don't have the strength and depth at the moment. Sandler comes in in defensive midfield, which is an ideal. Clark comes in at right back, which is an ideal. Um, so we've got a few issues around player fitness and stuff. So thankfully, this is our final game for at least six weeks. So uh, we'll take that. First highlight of the game comes about nine minutes in. We are on the attack. Jude Bellingham picks up the ball on the edge. He goes for goal himself. And that was pretty, pretty close. Good stuff by Jude Bellingham. But uh, can we get a goal, please, lads? Nice and early, just to settle the nerves a bit. Well, at least going by the match stats, we're doing pretty well. But this has been a dire first half so far. 40 minutes in, and we're only getting our second highlight. Miller picks up the ball from Callum Robinson's head down after a Boyd goal kick. And Callum Robinson gets the goal. It's his 10th goal of the season. The flag steers down. He is not offside. And we go 1-0 up with only five minutes remaining of this first half. It all came from a goal kick. Callum Robinson heads it down nicely. Miller holds up the ball a little bit. Finds that little through ball between the defence. And Robinson's first time finish beats Mikkel Givrea. Whatever his name is. I don't really care. Mikkel Givrea. Mikkel Givrea? Mikkel Givrea. That's a Portsmouth goalkeeper's name. Whatever. Kick off for the second half. Hoping for more of the same. If you look at the match stats now, we really did dominate that first half at the very least in terms of possession. And uh, shots taken, so we'll see if that carries forward into the second half. Highlight Burke with the free kick tries to find Adam Robert uh, Adam Armstrong at the back post. Unfortunately for us, um, it doesn't come to fruition. We keep possession though, which is nice to see. Harley Dean and Angel Jimenez playing it about quite nicely. Drew Bellingham with the ball now finds Ryan Burke on this left hand side, who goes for goal himself, and he managed to put it in the back of the net. The keeper should be doing a lot better with that. We'll see it in the replay. Um, there's no way Ryan Burke should be scoring from this shot. But he does. And we don't complain. We go 2-0 up. Bellingham with the ball to Callum Robinson. Back to Jude Bellingham. He takes the strike on here. It's pretty much straight at the goalkeeper. He still dives for it. He still palms it at the back of his net. And it's still 2-0 Birmingham. With only 15 minutes to go on us being 2-0 up. It is time to make some changes. Robinson's had a decent game. We'll take him off a kick here. Barja. Jude Bellingham can come off as well. We will rest him. Uh, Keefton Bailed will bring him on, whatever he's called. And Adam Armstrong can come off and Nathan Holland as well. Um, save some of uh, the legs, particularly of the legs of Jude Bellingham and stuff, which is what we we'll want. And now we have it. Birmingham 2, Portsmouth Manil. We get another win under our belts. 
and that is what it, we needed really really did we'll see how that leaves the championship table after them two games then so after the Wigan and Portsmouth games we still sit in 17th position but we find ourselves now 11 points clear from Sunderland in 22nd position uh, in terms of 15th which is where I'm aiming for we are only two points off Hull City in 15th and in terms of the the playoff positions we are nine points off so having played 24 games with only 22 remaining you never know with some smart January signings we might be able to forge a push towards the playoffs if not just getting into the top half and being able to compete with them sort of teams but looking forward to the next episode it will be a January transfer window as you can see my transfer budget is non-existent we've only got 7k per week available in the wages we've got a good few games in January oh freaking now we've got a lot of games to play in January but we will all play them in the same episode and we'll just because the likelihood is unless we're able to make a major sale we're probably not going to be able to make any major signings we'll wait and see how that goes though in the next episode but anyway if you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy